everyone and I am back again with another video um, and I'm so happy to see you guys so what we are going to do today is a review guys we have a lot of reviews coming to you um, this month I would say so VJ which I mentioned him in my last video who is one of my awesome most bestest friends in the world shout out, shout out to you VJ um, he ordered us a care package completely vegan and we are going to do a review on all of the products that he gave us so because um, I just got in from the gym and it's breakfast time now we are going to go on ahead and do a review on two of the breakfast products that he got us um, so if you guys have not seen this, this is one of the biggest things going around right now. It is um, vegan bacon slices. Um, it has the marbled fat um, as well as the meat in it. So looks really, really cool. Um, let me show you the back of the package. You can see the marbling of the meat and the fat. Um, I'm very, very excited to try this. The serving size for this is one slice of bacon, but as you can see, the bacon is very thick, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half and we're gonna have two slices um, of the bacon. You get 10 slices per pack. So um, I will get the information from him on where he ordered all of these I products. Know where, where, where it came from. Okay, well, well, we're gonna go ahead and put them down in the description below so that you guys can um, get these products yourself. So, Let's go ahead and go over what's in it because a lot of people, they always ask, oh, well, what's in it? Da -da 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 so we're going to go over that right now. So um, this entire package is 100% certified vegan, no preservatives, no trans fat, non-GMO soy protein, contains no animal factors at all, which means that it was not tested on animals as well. Um, so we have non-GMO textured soybean protein, non-GMO non -GMO soybean protein powder, non-GMO wheat protein concentrate, white pepper, sea salt, brown sugar, um, non-GMO sunflower seed oil, vegan seasoning, konjac powder, vegetable gum, and it contains soy and wheat. So those are the main ingredients. So if, um, if you really want to know, this is a soy-based product. Um, and it does have a little bit of wheat gluten um, in it as well. So let's go down to the um, actual nutrition facts. Normally when I do my reviews with you guys, I do a voiceover. But Joe said it's time I show my face on my channel. Um, so if you guys enjoy... I like, like seeing her pretty face. Thank you, baby. If you guys enjoy um, human interaction and you want to see me on my channel then comment down below and let me know if you like videos like this where I am um, actually speaking to you guys. Okay, so now with the nutrition facts, um, like I said, serving size is 1.06 um, ounces, which is about one slice of bacon. And it says that there are 10 containers, um, there are 10 servings per container, which makes sense because there's 10 slices of bacon. And baby is trying to do something. What are you trying to do? Um, um, now, this company is called All Vegetarian Inc. That is the company that he got it from. So, the company is All. That's the company, but that's not the website that Okay, so we'll do both. But this company right here is All Vegetarian Inc. Um, one thing that I can say off bat is I know that I'm going to need um, to seal these in an airtight container. So, the the packaging of this, if they would have had like one of those Ziplocs where I could just seal it myself, that would have been nice. But Light Life is also um, the vegan bacon brand that we have been using, and they don't have that either. They just come in a box, so um, it's not really any big to do because that's how most companies have their um, their packaging. So you're just gonna go ahead and open it up now that we've went over everything, and let's pull out the slabs of bacon as you guys can see it's five on both sides wow, and it's six. really really thick oh it smells bacony yeah it smells very bacon joe said he doesn't want to get on camera until he gets a haircut so 
like one thing right now. This is pretty thick. Smell it. Oh my god. It smells bacony, it smells smoky. Oh my god. Mm. Oh. It smells yummy. Hey, can I put one no. of them on my, uh, my black bean burger later? Yeah, you can put it. Yes. Now, one thing that I'm going to say about any vegan meat alternative products is it freaks your girl out. Like, it, it, really it, I, I get scared. <laughs> and it's like, okay, so I haven't had meat in years. So I'm like, okay. Not eight years. It's been about seven since I've had chicken, pork, and beef. But I, I seafood. It's been about three years. But things like this, that smell, this smells very cured and like meat-like. So it's probably gonna freak me out to eat it. Which doesn't mean that the product is bad. But me as a vegan, I stopped eating meat because it's meat. So when I have a product that's spot on, it kind of scares me. Um, except for the Impossible Burger because that just gave me life. So I hope that they go ahead and, ahead and get their animal testing together so that I can start eating them again. Um, but yeah, so this is what the bacon looks like. Um, I really hope that it transforms when we cook it. Um, that's really cool to see. But yeah, like I said, this is one serving size. So we're definitely going to go on ahead and cut this into two slices. Now the other product that we're going to review, I know you guys have seen this. I know you guys have wondered about this because your girl has too. Shout out to you, BJ, for getting it for her. Okay. Um, so we got the Just Egg, y'all. The Just Egg. And... Mm. Technical difficulties. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting over a little bug. Um, so we got the Just Egg egg-free non-gmo just for all plant-based scrambled eggs now i'm going to make an omelet with this or i'm going to attempt to make an omelet with this we're going to see how that works out so we're going to go over um what is in this product the calorie count for this product. did i give you guys the calorie count for this product okay. i'm going to remove the two pieces of bacon that we're going to use and then i'm going to give you guys the calorie count so calorie count is 44.82 calories, 18% um, of it is fat, um, you got 1.9 grams of fat, a lot of sodium here with this bacon, it's 360 milligrams of sodium, total carbs though is 5.7 grams which is pretty high in terms of vegan bacon, sugars are pretty low coming at point 75 grams and then protein you got 3.48 grams of protein which is not bad 17% of iron which is good for me as an anemic um, so it's high on the iron content and that's about it okay so this is about the same amount of calories it is 45 um, calories 20 um, calories come from fat which is 2.5 grams of total fat oh, let's see monosaturated fat is 1.5 grams cholesterol 0 milligrams of cholesterol sodium coming in a little bit high at 150 milligrams of sodium um, total carbohydrates 0 grams of carbs fiber 0 grams of fiber sugar 0 fiber protein 5 grams of protein so you do get your protein in iron um, 4% iron which is pretty good for me as an anemic um, and let's go over the ingredient number one ingredient is water um, after ingredient we got after the water we got mung bean protein isolate expeller pressed canola oil contains less than 2% of calcium citrate enzyme gillian gum natural carrot extractives that's for the color of it natural flavors natural turmeric extractors for the color of it onion puree for the taste of it salt soy lecithin sugar um, tetrasodium phosphate preservatives now that is a mouthful to read one thing that i will say about these vegan um alternative products is they're not meant for you to consume on a daily basis so this is not something that i would just be like okay I'm gonna eat this every single day 
versus what I normally have, which is my tofu. So this has a lot of things in it that I don't necessarily know what they are. I'm not going to lie and say I know exactly what um, gallon gum is. I don't know. So let's go on ahead and go here. This is what we normally eat for breakfast. It's just a big block of extra firm tofu. So let's go ahead and read what's in there. We have water, organic soybeans, less than 2% of calcium sulfate, magnesium chloride, which also doesn't sound that good, but it is USDA organic. Um, and we normally just strain this and we use it as a tofu scramble. We add our own spices and own seasonings. So it does have less additives and less whatever I don't know versus this, which has a lot of things that I don't really know and I'm not really educated on. But if you're willing to read up on it and you don't really mind the additives, the preservatives, then by all means, this may be a great breakfast product for you. This is a review. I'm not getting paid by these companies, so I'm gonna keep it real. I don't care um, if they watch it or not. Like, if y'all have a problem with my review, then maybe you should go ahead and work on your product. So, now that we have went over the two products that we are going to have for breakfast, let's go on ahead and start cooking them. Okay, so um, before we get started, I did want to do a smell test for you guys. Um, there is another egg-like product out there. Um, what is it called? It's, it's by Follow Your Heart. Cookie. It's by Follow Your Heart. And I love Follow Your Heart in terms of their cheese. But I feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And don't try to branch out into something. If you're not, if you're not really confident that you can do it. Sauces too. Their sauces are good, like um, their salad dressings, Follow Your Heart did come out with some salad dressings. But in terms of their egg substitute, it Ooh. smells horrible. Future. Um, they have, it smells like rotten eggs. I don't know if we still have it. Do we no, still we have it? We, do that thing we away. threw it away. But it was so funky that you wouldn't even want to put it in your body. Um, if you guys have tried it, please comment down below and let everybody else know what it smells like because it is very putrid. It smells like booty. Um, now, this product here, it smells all right. I don't smell anything. And that one came in a carton like it was an egg too. Yeah, it came in a carton like it was really egg. Um, but I wanna, now this container is also yellow, so you can't see the egg. I'm gonna pour it in here. It looks like egg not a little bit. This is the egg, it looks a high, little. Higher, higher. Higher, yeah. can you see? Okay, now, now, now I see your face. Bend it down. There we go. So you can kind of see what yeah, it looks like. Right there. Perfect. So. Doesn't smell putrid at all though. It doesn't give me that same nasty, funky smell. <clears throat> I did want to do a smell test for you guys because what you eat, <laughs> like it should not, it should not smell bad if you're gonna put it in your body because what does that say about how it's gonna come out? You know what I'm saying? So in terms of this product, I think it's um, pretty good. Like those now another thing that I do wanna mention is the things that BJ ordered for us, they all came frozen um, with dry ice. So when we first got this product, it was frozen. I don't know if that added any additional water to this or how it might have affected it. So. With that being said, you may experience it differently should you purchase it from the grocery store yeah, so just the in the refrigerated stores. section. Oh, yeah. they don't? Not yet. Oh, well, then it'll always come frozen. Yeah. So like then just egg, y'all need to know. Um, if your product is coming frozen, you guys should have already accounted for that. So that's good to know. It's in stores in California, but everywhere else, you got to buy it on All right, so we got our pans hot. We're going to go ahead and throw our bacon in and get our omelets going. Okay. Sorry. This product says scramble. Um, it says shake well, scramble like an egg, and cook thoroughly. We're going to try and make omelets. So this is an, an attempt to see if this product will actually let you make oh, omelets or if it's thing. just for scrambled eggs. So that's another thing we're going to figure out today. Let the record reflect, I would like scrambled eggs. Joe would like scrambled eggs. I don't. I want to see if it'll make omelets. <laughs>
I'm like, 
Here's our omelets. This is my plate here. We need to come back this way. There we go. Right and here. then right here is Joe's there plate. Looking really yummy. We're going to go ahead and serve these with some salsa. Okay. Jim, you are moving all out. All right, guys. So um, it is time for us to go ahead and give this food a try. If you can see, I don't want to. I'm ready to eat. We did well, you guys did the see the, yeah, you saw the plate already. So we're going to eat it with some salsa, which I normally eat my omelets with. Eat omelets. Are you thinking? Like all the other YouTubers? Well, I haven't had an omelet in a long time. That's why I said I wanted to make one. My mouth is actually watering for this. But is this a real omelet? Or is it a okay, so omelet? let's do the bacon first. Well, after we pray. Okay, so let's get started with the bacon first. Now, like I said, in my opinion, this bacon is too crispy, but Ooh, you hear that crunch? I heard it. Mm. It tastes exactly like it smells. Mm-hmm. It's kind of jerky. Mm-hmm. It's good though. Um, in comparison to light life of a bacon, I would say it holds up very well. In comparison, I would I would have liked it to be undercooked a little bit more. Uh, okay. Um, but this is definitely gonna get gone. It's <laughs> um, it's salty, it's smoky, it's um. For this bacon, I give it, what would you give it? Out of 10. Out of 10? I'd go 7, 8. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I think it would taste better if we did not cook it as long as we did. And I'm going to eat the slab. Next to time. test that, the next time we do cook it, since we have the whole pack, I'll let you guys know how it tastes. I'm gonna test it today and put a black bean burger. But the, the part that's not overcooked in the middle is bomb. Yeah. It's very flavorful. Mm-hmm. I give this a nine out of ten. Y'all did a good job in terms of flavor profile and everything like that. Let's taste Joe's potatoes. Ten out of ten on the potatoes. Okay, so now, everything. This is what y'all have been waiting for. This just egg omelet, though. Give it a nice little cut. 
holds up. Can I, whole can I egg go in? omelet. Or I gotta eat like how you eat. No, you can eat. Yes. This is not your channel. All right. Okay. I'm so scared, y'all. I'm scared. You too. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, I was waiting on you to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is bomb. This tastes just like a daggone omelet. This tastes like I'm at IHOP right now. I this is horrible good. omelets, don't say that. Well, I mean like. This is a waffle. This is the impossible burger. <laughs> because their cauliflower wings were trash. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Jennifer's trying the impossible burger for the first time. All right, try it out. watch us eat all of our breakfast <laughs> but I did want to say thank you guys so much for watching yes. if you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure that you subscribe so that you can see me and my hubby thank you, BJ. doing wonderful reviews thank you so much BJ actually so that you guys know what we have coming for you they pop that freezer open and let's show them what we're working with okay. let's show them because okay. we finna bring y'all reviews on reviews on reviews on reviews okay all of this stuff that y'all see, I, I, I'm so hype, I feel gangsta, but all of the things that are active and live right now in the vegan community that are new and all the craze, your girl has her hands on them. And when I tell you my reviews are 100% honest, I don't sugarcoat nothing, it is what it is, I'm not lying to y'all because I don't want for y'all to waste your money, I don't want for you to waste your time. <coughs> we got the vegan drumsticks coming at you with that and I have plans for these drumsticks guys we got plans for these <clears throat> so review coming soon make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out vegan shrimp bop 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 we got the vegan shrimp so we got plans for these vegan shrimp what do they taste like how do they taste are they as good as this dog on omelet right here um go ahead and get the last but certainly not least now I can tell y'all because we we are from Cal well I said we're from Cali. We lived in Cali for a while and we had these fresh off the truck. Authentic fresh off the truck. So I already know that this is the truth. But I want to let y'all know if it's the truth. Because um fresh and frozen are completely different things. But the fact that Cena Vegan can package this stuff up and bring it to us fresh, get out my plate <laughs> and bring it to us all the way here in North Carolina from California is a not a small feat so uh, we have the pollo and we have the carne asada that we're gonna go on ahead and try for you guys as well so make sure that you subscribe make sure that you're ready for all of the things that we're gonna be sharing with you guys um, this just egg was phenomenal um, I don't know if it can be used as a bake substitute or if it's just for um, just for omelets, but that's another thing we're going to go on ahead and try and test out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go on ahead and get back to breakfast, and I will see you guys in my next video. My apologies for this being so long, 
but comment down below because you guys help me decide how I want to edit or how I should edit because you guys are my viewers. So if you prefer to have um, me talking to you guys throughout the process, letting you guys know the calorie count, how it smells, how it feels, the, te the texture, all of that stuff. If you enjoy videos like this, please let me know because that will help me in my review process. If you enjoy other videos like the ones I did with the Gardein, then go on ahead and let me know, Jennifer, we like your voiceovers. I mean, you're cool and all, but when you talk to us in person, you're a little bit too long-winded. That's fine. Just go on ahead and leave me a comment and let me know what you want me to do and your girl will do it. So be blessed, stay stress-free, have a wonderful, wonderful week, wonderful month, wonderful year, and I will see you guys in my next video. Now it's time for me to eat. so although the texture of that bacon was really good um we did cook it a few different times a few different ways and decided that it would be better if we did a separate video reviewing it so expect that really really soon thank you guys again and i will see you next time bye